Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're looking at bashing versus street bashing. Now this is my team Coralie Kronos and I've had this for about eight months now and it's a load of fun and I've jumped it and I've abused it and I've battered it and uh, it's been epic. And this is my Hebeo Hyper GT, which I've not had for so long, but I've had a good few runs out of it so far. And, uh, you know, done some donuts, done some burnouts, done some uh, speed running. It's, um, that's been fun as well. So we're going to look at these two today and look at the advantages and disadvantages of both. So first off, we're going to look at the price of both of these. So, I mean, these are two different models, so it's not fair to compare. But Hebeo do on-road and off-road stuff on the same platform. And they're roughly the same price. They use the same electrics, use the same batteries. So not much difference in price, really. I think this GT retails at 240 quid for the rolling chassis. The SSE buggy retails around 200 for the buggy at the moment. And the ST, SST e truck retails for about 260. So very similar in price. Uh, the Team Colliery stuff is a bit cheaper, but they don't do any on-road versions, unfortunately. Now, I've had several different bashes since I got back into RC cars last year, and I've got to say, bashing is super duper fun. Um, this is my yeah, third or fourth, fifth maybe, basher, and this one's probably the most fun I've had, and it's the quickest, and it'll jump the furthest, and probably the toughest as well. Um, and I've had this for probably a couple of months, and I've had some fun with it, don't get me wrong, but I personally don't think the street bashing is as fun as actual off-road bashing. That's my personal opinion, everyone's opinions is different, but I think jumping and backflipping is way more fun than donuts on burnouts. <laughs> Now, places to use these cars are probably the biggest issue. I mean, they're big, they're fast. Where can you take them? So, bashing for a starter, we've gone to we've gone to parks, we've gone to fields and taken jumps. We've gone to skate parks when the kids are in school. We've gone to I go to a pump track regularly, which is right by my house. And in the week, it's completely empty, so we can jump this to my heart's content, which is happy, happy days. The street basher, on the other hand, I found a couple of places to take it, but there's always cars passing. It's there's not as many good places to take this and I think the big street bashers That's the main complaint is there's nowhere decent to take them Now one of the downsides of bashing is these things break It doesn't matter how tough the truck is It doesn't matter how well you can drive it These things are going to break and I've replaced quite a few parts on this car 
However, with the street bashing, I mean, I've had a few incidents with this and there's not been a mark on the body shell, not been a mark on the chassis. It's been absolutely fine and dandy. So that's definitely a plus point with the street bashing. The only thing you might go through is probably going to be tyres. They go through tyres because there's so much power going through these. That's what you're going to be replacing the most. And they're not particularly cheap. But you're not going to be replacing A-arms, you're not going to be replacing braces, you're not going to be replacing diffs, anything like that normally with these. So I'd say these are a little bit kinder on your wallet. So personally, out of the two, I would always go for the basher because bashing is fun. <clears throat> However, some people do like the on-road stuff and there's, if there's a few of you all got these big uh, on-road street bashers, I mean... It can be fun, you know, and if you've got somewhere decent to take them, I think they'll be a lot better. So if you've got somewhere decent to take a big scale, fast, on-road basher, I think maybe that could be a good call. But if you haven't got anywhere to take them, absolutely go for a basher. But again, that's my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think is best, what you think is most fun. And for those of you who noticed, we are back on the coffee table today because my hobby table is not big enough to accommodate both these two, <laughs> both these two beasts. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.